Hey guys, I wanted to speak to you in this video about a subject that not many people are aware of, and it involves making money in stocks. Um, as you know, I analyze fundamentally sound stocks that are at their annual low price and buy as well as advise you when you can buy those stocks as they're moving up. And that's through the this week's winning stocks that I put out every week on this channel. However, there is something that can make your stocks move up even quicker and even more. And I want to talk to you about that today because it's going to be contrary to what you know in most other areas of making money. In most other areas of making money, people know their way of making money. They go out, they move silently, and they make their money. They may let you in on what they're doing, but it's not really much of a benefit for them to let you in on what they're doing. It's not much of a benefit to them. It's a benefit to you. But stocks are a little different. And we're going to explain that right now. So, stock prices move for two reasons directly. We're going to talk about direct causes and a few indirect causes. So what are some of the direct causes of stock movement? Well, there's two of them. One, buying. The more people who buy a stock, the price goes up. In other words, stock prices rise when more people are buying that stock than selling that stock. So if more people bought the stock in the day than sold the stock, the stock price is going to go up for that day. And selling. Stock prices drop when more people sell the stock than buy. So if more people are selling the stock for that day than they are buying, the stock price is going to go down that day. Why is that significant? Because like I said, with most other things that people discover to make money, they tend to keep it to themselves. But if you find a good stock that you feel has a lot of potential to move up, and you tell other people about it, you're not taking away from yourself by telling others. You're actually adding to yourself. Because as long as you have it locked in and other people start buying it, guess what's going to happen? The price is going to go up if there's more people who are buying than selling. That's why you'll find that they have something they call pump and dump with these cheap penny stocks. These aren't even fundamentally sound companies. They're poor, fundamentally poor companies of very cheap stocks, but yet people will buy up a significant number of these stocks. Then they'll go into chat rooms and community boards and every place else and chat the stock up because they know once they talk about all the positive things for this stock, people are going to start buying it. The price is going to go up. Then when the price goes up, they're going to sell all of their shares, and that's what's going to cause the price to drop. But in our case, we're not doing that. We're buying fundamentally sound stocks 
that are already at their annual low price or just above it. And by letting other people in on that news, you're creating more opportunity for yourself if you already have the stock locked in because you'll already be an owner when it starts going up. So I suggest that you share the information from this channel with all of your friends, with all of your loved ones, so they can take advantage of these same opportunities as you, but it will benefit you as well as them. Now that we talked about the direct causes of a stock price going up and down, let's talk about some of the indirect causes. In other words, what are some of the things that would cause more people to buy than sell or cause more people to sell than buy? And one of them would be news, positive or negative. If it's positive news about the company, that'll make the stock price go up. And if it's negative news, that'll make the stock price go down. We have earnings reports. What are earnings reports? An earnings report is almost like a report card, but for companies. And if the earnings report is positive, the price will jump up. If the earnings report is negative, the price will go down. We have political events. Sometimes political events can affect, or general news like the war in Ukraine or Israel or other things of that nature can cause stock prices to fluctuate. We have financial data. There's always financial data coming out. There's um, inflation changes. There's change to interest rates and all kinds of things like that. We have presidential elections. If at all possible, you may want to be out of the market come the time of the presidential election because there's a lot of fluctuation from what people think is going to happen. And there are other things. So those are some of the indirect causes of stock prices going up and down. But generally, they go up and down because of buying or selling. More people buying than selling or more people selling than buying. And these indirect causes are some of the things that may cause more people to buy than sell or cause more people to sell than buy. Okay, guys, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.